Schwartz Sports Memorabilia is your leading source for all your sports memorabilia needs. From autographed jerseys and helmets to balls, Funkos, photos, and more. They conduct hundreds of in-person signings with the likes of Barry Sanders, Floyd Mayweather, Larry Bird, and many more. In addition, Schwartz Sports offers an exclusive line of mystery boxes available online at SchwartzSportsMemorabilia.com. Once again, that's SchwartzSportsMemorabilia.com. Have you been hanging and banging, brothers and sisters? Have you been in the gym pumping that iron and getting yourself in top shape? If so, you need to fuel your body and nobody can do it better for you at a better price and a better quality product than our friends at Best Price Nutrition. That's bestpricenutrition.com. 1-800-499-4810. They got free shipping on orders over $99 in the USA. They even have a 30-day return policy. Ladies and gentlemen, Best Price Nutrition is where it's at. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Super Mod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. The day is finally here, everybody. We are in Chicago, Illinois, at Comiskey Park, and this is Wrestle Rock 88. Everybody, this is a huge event for us, and we tried something different here, and I pre booked this show. I'm going to try to keep this show uh, under 30 minutes. If I can't, if it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, we will split this into two parts. It's nothing different than what we do with the television tapings. This is just a huge event. I think we have a total of 18 matches. So we're going to see how it goes with the pre-booking. I've never done this before, and uh, we're going to see how everything goes. But I am excited we have been building up this uh, event for quite some time, and I certainly hope that we're going to sell out Comiskey Park, but you just never know. Let's check out uh, what it says, what can be expected for tonight. 15,000 fans, so we are not going to sell out Comiskey Park, but hey, 15,000 fans is pretty darn good. So uh, let's take a look at our absent workers. No problem here. Jerry Blackwell is injured, as we know, and Jerry, I'm sorry, Billy Robinson is going to work for All Japan. Let's take a look at our backstage incidents. Mike Tolis, good man, getting us in a good mood. We have some protege work going on here as usual. And as you can tell by the sound of my voice, everybody, I'm excited. All right? I am pumped up about this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give this card a rundown here, everybody. In our opening match, we are going to have Mad Max against DJ Peterson. Cactus Jack and Dream Machine are going to face the Sheep Herders in tag team action. I got to ignore this off to the side. I did that to time out the show to how to do the settings. So we're going to have Reggie Bennett challenging Medusa Michelli for that world women's title. And remember, Reggie Bennett is now managed by none other than dastardly Don Carson. Kevin Kelly, along with Baby Doll, is going to face Baron Von Rotschke. Jeff Jarrett is going to challenge Steve Regal for the World Light Heavyweight title. Jeff Jarrett, of course, is coming over to us from the CWA. The Fantastics are going to be in tag team action against the Fantastic. <laughs> See what I did there? The Fantastics are going to face the Flying Guerrero Brothers. Bobby Duncan is going to mix it up with perennial number one ch uh, challenger for the heavyweight title, Tom Zink. Dirty white boy, Tony Anthony, is going to blow off his feud here with Ron Simmons. The Russians are going to end their feud against the Fabulous Ones. Dick Slater is going to finish up his feud with Scott Hall. The Iron Sheik and Bob Backlund will get it on here for one last time in their feud. We're going to have an Indian strap match. That's right, a strap match. And it's going to be Manny Fernandez versus Wahoo McDaniel putting a bow on their feud. A special bout indeed here as Kevin Von Erich comes to us from World Class Wrestling Association to face former heavyweight champion of the world, Nick Bockwinkle. 
we are going to have a $25,000 battle royal. That means 25 competitors. Doug Summers is going to challenge Greg Gagne for the world television title. Larry Zabisco and Jerry Lawler will mix it up one more time for us here, everybody. And in our semi-main, the Midnight Express will challenge the Midnight Rockers for the world tag team title. In our main event, Kerry Von Erich, representing the World Class Wrestling Association, has traveled here to Chicago, and he's going to face heavyweight champion of the world, Kurt Hennig. Everybody, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. The world knows what time it is. From coast to coast, from sea to shining sea, let's get to booking. Here we go, everybody. And we're going to add a match. And I don't think I've ever done a match from pre-booking. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. So I've never pre-booked before. All right. Uh, let's take a look. Here we go. Pre-booking. Okay. We know that our opener is going to be Mad Max versus Peterson. So we are going to add to the booking sheet. All right, and DJ Peterson is going to get the win here over Mad Max. Is that one really only a five-minute bout? Yeah, it is. We have to do this with the time of the matches. I mean, that's not normally how we do things, but it is here. All right, Cactus Jack and Dream Machine are going to face the Sheep Herders. We're going to add that to the booking sheet. And the Sheep Herders, representing the Continental Wrestling Association. Actually, in this case, they have moved along to the Championship Wrestling Association are going to get the win, and Cactus Jack and Dream, Dream Machine are united because they're both managed by Don Carson. So I have this one down for five minutes also. That's incorrect. This one is a seven-minute bout, and that one is booked. Up next, if you ever watched the real Wrestle Lot Rock, they were really short matches, so this is realistic indeed. Definitely realistic. So we're going to have Reggie Bennett against... The world women's champion here, Medusa Michelli. We're going to add this one to the booking sheet. And let's verify that that one's going eight minutes. It is. And Medusa is going to defend her crown here. So that one is booked. Up next, we have Kevin Kelly versus Baron Von Rotschke here. They're going to go eight minutes. We're going to add that one to the booking sheet. And Kevin Kelly is going to get the win due to the interference of his manager. So that one is booked. Next, we have Jeff Jarrett and Steve Regal. They're going to go 10 minutes. And I can tell already I have to adjust the Von Rotschke kelly match. So here comes our World Light Heavyweight title match. No. Yeah, it is. There we go. I'm so nervous, everybody. I'm so excited. All right, that one's a 10-minute bout. Steve Regal is going to get the win here. Um... I'm concerned that these short matches are going to hurt our overall score, but I wanted to keep this in tradition with the real Russell Rock 88, so that's why things are being done this way. And the Guerrero brothers are going to get the win over the Fantastics here. It's going to go 10 minutes. Next, we have Bobby Duncan facing Tom Zank, and I couldn't pass on the opportunity to have Kerry Von Erich versus Nick Bockwinkel. It's just a great match to have. All right, and Tom Zank is going to get the win here over Bobby Duncan. This is going to help boost him in the main event picture. Next, we have Tony Anthony and Ron Simmons. And here we go. We're moving this to the booking sheet. This one's 11 minutes. Ron Simmons is getting the win here to close out that feud. Up next, we have the Russians and the Fabs. Also going 11 minutes. Here we go. We're going to add them to the booking sheet here. And Steve Kern is going to get the win for his team to tie a bow on that feud. And next, we're going to have Dick Slater and Scott Hall. They're going 12 minutes. So here's Slater versus Hall. We're going to move it to the booking sheet. And this one is now booked. Scott Hall is going to get the best of Dick Slater here. Slater doesn't mind. Iron Sheik and Bob Backlund up next. 
Add that one to the booking sheet. And we are going to have Bob Backlund get the win here. All right, up next is going to be Fernandez and Wahoo McDaniel in their big strap match. That's right, it's not an Indian strap match. It's a strap match. <laughs> Manny Fernandez is going to get the win, everybody. And Wahoo is not going to mind. Let's make sure that this is booked as a strap match. Um, no, it is not booked as a strap match. So we'll make the adjustment here. There we go, Indian strap match. Ooh, we got to bump this one up. This could be a problem for us here. Okay, it was only one minute, so we're good. All right, that one is in the books. Next, we're having the Kevin Von Erich and Nick Bockwinkel match, and this one's going to be a short one, but there's just so much we can do. Add to the booking sheet. We are going to have Kevin Von Erich get the win over Nick Bockwinkel. As we know, Nick Bockwinkel's at the end of his career here, and he's not going to mind putting over a young guy like Kevin Von Erich. All right, here comes our... $25,000 Battle Royal, and you can see the competitors in there. Ali Khan, Brian Nobbs, Derek Dukes, Eddie Guerrero, Greg Wojciechowski, the Texas Hangman, Jerry Sags, the uh, Top Guns are in this one, Johnny Rich, the Destruction Crew is in this one, Bad Companies in this one, Nick Kanichki, Ray Stevens is in this one, Scott Steiner, Sheik Adnan LKC, Steve Olsonowski, the Terrorist, uh, the Trooper, Zebra Kid, Tommy Jammer, White Panther Jr. This is an exciting one here, everybody. And Scott Steiner is going to win this bout. And I had this Battle Royal going 18. Here I only have it set for 16 or 15. We're going to book that segment. It's in there. Up next, we have Doug Summers and Greg Gagne. And they're scheduled to go 17. See, I got it mixed up. 16 minutes is fine for these two. Technical Masterclass. Greg Gagne is going to defend the world television title here. And up next, we're going to have Zabisco versus Lawler. And Larry Zabisco is going to get the win here, but Don Morocco is going to interfere. Don Morocco, who we just signed. So, is this going to set something up for Morocco and Lawler? We'll see now, won't we? All right, up next is the tag match. The Midnight Express versus the Midnight Rockers. And you know what's going to happen here? We're going to have new tag team champions, everybody. All right, this one is now booked. And last but not least is our main event. And we are having Kevin Von Erich and Kurt Hennig. And they are going to go to a double disqualification. This is AWA style. They're not going to want either one of these guys to go over. Uh, we can't. They're going to appease egos by doing it this way. Uh, I would like to have done a draw, but we can't have this match go 60 minutes, not on this big of a show. So this is the next best thing I could do. All right. We are all set here, everybody. Our card is together. Let's check out our booking analysis. Larry Hennig's got too much. Fern has got too much. All right. Uh, we can always use Greg Gagne. So we'll give Greg Gagne this match. And let's see where Larry Hennig's at. We could have Gene Kanichki do this match. So that should take care of those problems. Larry Hennig's still got too much, and so does Jim Mitchell. Larry Hennig, Gene Konichki. Let's see if that appeases. It does. So Jim Mitchell and Marty Miller. So we'll make sure Alfonso's got enough matches. 
Okay, Jim Mitchell. Bill Alfonso. Marty Miller. Bill Alfonso. Now, Alfonso's probably got too much to do now. Still too much for Mitchell and Alfonso. There's Bill F Alfonso. Still too much. All right. This main event, we want Jim Mitchell. Second match, we want Marty Miller. That's booked. Third match, we want Bill Alfonso. Marty Miller. Jim Mitchell, Bill Alfonso, okay, Marty Miller, Jim Mitchell, Bill Alfonso. Marty Miller. Jim Mitchell. Bill Alfonso. It's booked that way. Bill Alfonso again. Now, what's the problem here? Bill Alfonso's got too much to do. Let's see if we got any referees. Let's bring back Al DeRosha. Al DeRosha was a long-time WWE, I'm sorry, AWA referee. Okay, so we got Al DeRosha back. So let's do these openers with Al DeRosha. Can't do them all. Wow. Well, this is a pain in the ass and taking up a bunch of our time. Never had this problem before, but this is a huge card. Eldorosha. Duncan Manzank. Eldorosha. Okay, so Jim Mitchell has got too much. Eldorosha. Okay, here we go. We are ready to rock, everybody. And I am excited. I am pumped up. And let's go ahead and start this show. All right, DJ Peterson gets his win here. And, of course, 16 of 55. This match only gets a 49. And luckily for us, the time is not hurting us. All right, up next, we got the Sheep Herders. And the Sheep Herders get the win here, just as we predicted, with a 70 overall. Not bad at all. Moving right along, everybody. There we go. Medusa Michelli makes the defense 56 overall. And the usual takeaways here. Up next, Kevin Kelly defeats Baron Von Rotschke. This is a big win for Kevin Kelly. And he gets help, of course, from Baby Doll. And what do we got here? 15,000, almost 16,000 in Comiskey Park. This is a nice draw for us. Well done. We didn't sell the place out, but it is a uh, pretty darn good draw for us. And we have 61 overall for Regal versus Jarrett. And Steve Regal defeats Jeff Jarrett, who came into us from the CWA. The only knock on Jarrett here is inexperience. That's good. He's also probably not over up here in the Great Lakes, so I'm sure that hurts him. Here we go. Uh, look at that. The Guerrero brothers get the win over the Fantastics. Really nice score here. 81. The Fantastics are a great team. This is a good match, a really good match. Bonus City, top notch. All right, rolling right along. Tom Zank beats the much better scoring Bobby Duncombe here with the missile dropkick, 81. Great match between these two. This is good stuff. And hey, I don't see any knocks for Elder Roche yet, so that means he's still doing a good job as a referee. It's a cool thing to bring him back for a big show like this. Ron Simmons gets the win here over Tony Anthony with that scoop power slam. 73 overall. Excellent. 
Up next here, the fabulous ones get the win over the Russians with that inverted DDT of Steve Kern. 84. Big score here. Big score. Bonus City. Only inexperience on Soldat Ustinov holding us back here. Here we go. Big Scott Hall gets the win over Dick Slater with that Bulldog. 83 overall after an 84 and an 84. Excellent bout here. This is good stuff, everybody. Here we go. Bob Backlund gets the win over the Iron Sheik with the cross-faced chicken wing. 86 and 86 somehow only gives us an 81. And you got it right, everybody. The Iron Sheik is now managed by Don Carson. I don't know why these two would have dropped and score down to 81, but they did. All right, here we go. Manny Fernandez beats Wahoo McDaniel in his own match, 76 overall. Wahoo actually outscores Manny Fernandez, but this is a boost for both of these guys. This is a good match, 76. A little bit of blood, exactly what the fans would have liked. Kevin Von Erich defeats Former heavyweight champion of the world, Nick Bockwinkel, with that diving crossbody. 89 for Kevin Von Erich. Excellent. 74 for Bockwinkel. Great score. Good match. We have a really good card here, everybody. And here we go with the big battle royal, the $25,000 battle royal. And Scott Steiner is the winner. We get a 70 overall. And Ray Stevens, Sheik Adnan LKC. Wojciechowski and Steiner were the last ones. It was down to Steiner and Stevens, and Steiner defeated Stevens, eliminated him. Great battle royal, traditional, awesome AWA battle royal. Scott Steiner looking good. Here we go, Doug Summers against Greg Gagne. Greg Gagne gets the win here and defends that world television title. Up next here, Don Morocco makes his debut here. It's gotten the initial rating of very good. He has interfered, and Larry Zabisco gets the win over Jerry Lawler. Excellent stuff here. Now remember, everybody, we're not dealing with pay-per-view here. This is just a big live event, right? Excellent score. Here we go. Midnight Express and Midnight Rockers with an 89. Outstanding score. The Midnight Express are once again the AWA World Tag Team Champions. Bonus city across the board. This is great stuff, everybody. I don't see any fatigue from the crowds. That's a good sign. Here we go with that big main event over the World Heavyweight title. 95 overall. What a score. Both men with a 93 each. 95 overall, everybody. This is an excellent, excellent show. What a match right there. We're going to finish this one up. Terrific score. 93 overall. We get the gain. This is good stuff. Everything I hoped it would be, everybody. We're going to point out Kurt Hennig. We are going to point out Jerry Lawler. And we are going to point out Larry Zabisco. Great scores here. I'm going to sneeze, so I'm going to turn off the microphone. All right, I'm done with my sneeze, and I am back. Uh, we're going to make the speech here. Excellent performance. You know what? Yeah, we're going to leave it with these three. Great performance. Great performance. We're going to make that speech. Hennig is pleased. Lawler is pleased. And Zabisco is pleased. What a show, everybody. What a big-time show. Exactly what we were hoping to get. And we got it. Terrific. Absolutely terrific. I could not have hoped for anything better than that. What a big-time show. All right, here we are back at the main screen. Billy Robinson out of shape. He's getting fat. He did get flabby in his old age. All right, all the people that we borrowed for this big event are now gone, as expected. No problem at all. And let's take a look at the titles here. And there it is, new world tag team champions, the Midnight Express in their second reign. And the Midnight Rockers had a good seventh-month reign so this is good stuff. Good for the Midnight Express. They deserve it. Everybody, I can't tell you this was an outstanding show. I like doing the pre-booking for the big show like that. I think we'll continue doing it. So thank you all for tuning in, and thank you all for your continued support. Any of you that are new to the channel, please leave a comment below. Let us know how you found the channel. 
And I thank you for joining us and being a part of this wonderful save that we have going and our PowerCast network community. For those of you that would like version 9 of the SuperMod, head on over to braddrake.net. Drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to send you a link to the database and the picture pack. For those of you who want to join us on social media, go to facebook.com slash groups slash 1987SuperMod. You can also join us on Reddit at the subreddit of TEW2020Friends. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.